Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I was thinking a little bit this morning about what I would call multi-timing. You know, we talk a lot about multi-diming. But we don't talk about multi-timing very much. And um, I was specifically started along this thought line on the topic of appreciation as opposed to getting snagged into relationship thinking, re relational thinking, I'd say. So, you know, in the old psychology, there's a list of, of needs. One of the needs is the need to be loved. And um, on the psychic plane, on the astral plane, I run into a lot of times, I well, today, two things. One is the need for money, and that's safety and security. I need money. And then the other thing is I need a relationship, okay? Um, and, and I'd like to say that as the ascension process unfolds, these needs that we feel are going to are going to disappear completely. The whole the whole thing about need-based psychology is going to just go by the wayside. But a lot of people believe right now that they need certain things like that, and so over and over again in the new spheres, coming up these needs, right? Um, now, need-based behavior has to do with left brain thinking. A specific, specific aspect of left brain thinking that views time as an unchangeable um, uh, like causeway or, or asphalt road of cause, a chain of cause and effect, okay? And, and so that's one thing is the nature, the nature of time, okay? As, 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 a, as an unchangeable asphalt roadway. And the other thing is um, relational thinking. And that has to do with um, me proceeding along this causeway of time connected by need to other objects along the way. So I'm walking along this causeway. I'm not singing a happy song. Instead, I'm sending out um, energies of need towards what's perceived as objects in my environment. Okay? So, so all the time I'm, my electromagnetic field is spinning off um, um, tendrils, like an octopus, tendrils of need that, that um, interfere with the um, the actual structure and potential of, of my electromagnetic field. Now, I need to have this electromagnetic field intact, okay, in order to accomplish all the things that are available to me uh, as the ascension goes on, okay. So, so, th so that's why, that's in a nutshell, why need-based um, behavior is going to disappear, okay. But, but in the meantime, I, every time I experience a need for something, I, I'm, my EMF field reaches out, like mentally reaches out, towards an object other than me, okay? And, and in fact, people, because of the way the left brain operates, people perceive themselves as being in relationship with, say, money, or a house, or a job, or a person, or a pet, or whatever, it, as a static situation. It's like, um, you know, we were talking about 
the spring tides and, and rafting or canoeing down a river and getting snagged and seeing a snag on an island, you know, in the river and, and just reaching out for like a, a, that snaggy branch and then the c canoe spins around and, and, and you're in danger of capsizing. You're taking on water because you've grabbed onto something instead of going with the flow of the of the tide you know the stream of water going down going downstream right and uh, a relational behavior is like that it it snags us on a little branch of a tree sticking out from an island in the flow of the now so so we perceive ourselves as being in a static relationship with money or with, um, you know, um, a person or in, in statically in search of a person that's missing, you know, statically in search of money that's not there. Uh, just always reaching out, we perceive that. But that's not true. That's not the true reality, okay? Uh, and nor is the the idea that that time is a is an asphalt highway of a chain of cause and effect uh, true. Neither of these are true. Not in the new reality. So, so to get back to the topic of appreciation, uh, I think I think this requires further definition. The thing I think to appreciate. You know, it, it is not the thing that we're reaching out for or need, you know, or that we wish we had or that we fear we'll lose, right? Um, so, so why not appreciate just an evanescent thing of the, of the moment? For instance, I'm looking around the house and I see, I see a beautiful color of pink over here in a little satchel. I appreciate that beautiful color. It's almost magenta. It's the most beautiful satiny color. I appreciate that. Or I'm outside and I, I notice the wind blowing through the, the um, tall grasses, the fall autumn grasses, and I see how the, how the, the, the seeds are, are heavy and almost ripe. And I just, I appreciate the way the wind blows through the grass, you know. It's just a thing of the moment, but I appreciate it. I don't have a relationship, say, to the satchel. I don't have a relationship to the grass, you know. But, but I see something evanescently present in the ever-flowing now, and that's what I appreciate, you know. I don't appreciate that I'll see it tomorrow because tomorrow the grass will be different and the wind will be different, you know. So, so escaping from need, I appreciate something that I, that I see or I hear or I feel just in this moment. And, and the training for that is very good because it's not a snaggy thing. It's an evanescent momentary thing that appears to me in the flow of the now. Okay. Now, to get back to this thing about greed, this was another thing that came up last night. In fact, I woke up with a nightmare about it. Um, it's like you're, you're canoeing down that river in that spring flood, right? And you see boulders along the way, and basically you try to steer away from them, right? Get back into the flow of the thing, right? So that your canoe doesn't capsize. But you're going along and you see this really cool boulder in the stream. It's really beautiful and, and you want it, right? You want it. So, so you try and ease your canoe right up to it. Now the water is flowing lickety split on, along on either side. You're in a precarious position and you look at this rock and this rock is called money. <laughs> and you really want this rock, right? This rock that's money right and so you you try and keep your canoe right there on the rock right the money rock <laughs> but the tide is rising and the spring is coming and 
abundance is all around us, you know. That rock, that rock is not abundance. Abundance is in everything around us. So, so what I'm saying is that true safety doesn't lie in like money, in that thought of money. It lies in taking advantage of every opportunity that comes up around us, you know. And so it's possible to ease off that rock, ease our canoe off that rock and get right back into the flow of things and, 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 and sense with gratitude the little things around us and, and not concentrate on need, but instead concentrate on the opportunities that are coming up all around us every day. That's what I think. Ha. Huh. So, to get back to timelines, I've talked about it a lot, but but for some reason people are just not grasping it, you know. Uh, the thing is that our our thought processes need to shift. We need to know that reality is not really causal, it's synchronous. We need to understand that that Whatever, that we are creating our reality and we're changing our timelines moment to moment through our emotion-based thoughts, you know. And so we're not in relationship with, with a static cause, causal causeway. No. We're creating in the moment our reality and choosing our realities in the moment. Okay. They talk about multidimensionality, but I talk about multi-temporality, multi-timing. Okay. In any moment, you can place your awareness on any of the possibilities that are there. Why not optimize them? Why not optimize the timelines? any moment that you feel not safe, optimize, because the optimal timeline is a safe timeline, a happy timeline. It's something that you can appreciate, you know. You can change any time you want to, you can change to that. So, I've mentioned this activation of light a time or two in the past, and I'll just, I'll just run through it one more time. It's very simple. Every time uh, you don't feel safe, or you don't feel you have enough, or you don't feel grateful, you can just say, spirit to team, optimize timelines for the all through free will. And if you want, if there's trouble in understanding it, you can add, I am in service to others. That distinguishes you from folks who are in service to self. Uh, I used to think that was that last line is very important, but now I think uh, only add it if you need to, you know, if you need to make it clear. So, um, so I hope I hope this explains how you can use the tool of appreciation, how you can switch to a new timeline, how you don't have to be chained to cause and effect, and how you don't have to be chained to relationships. I hope this helps a little, and uh, and we, we can ease through September in appreciating uh, something or other in every moment. So, God bless you all. Take care. Love.